Wonders to silence, wonders to silence. How many wonders will we silence? Wonders to silence, silence. Wonders to silence, wonders to silence. How many wonders must we silence? How many wonders will we silence? How do you know if they make too much noise? How do you know if you must stop their racket? How do you know if the wonder's no good? Is it because something is wrong? But what would be wrong for that wonder to be silenced. What would be wrong is what I'm asking now. That wonder there, that wondrous wonder right over there. Do we listen to the songs they sing, or do we seek to silence? Wonders to silence, wonders to silence. How many wonders must go, destroyed, removed, block by block? How many wonders must be silenced? How many wonders must be silent? Wondrous, marvelous, fantastic feats. Wonderful and marvelous, extra ordinary wonders to behold great and glorious wonders to really hold in your arms wonders 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 glorious and enchanting wonders I think I might name this one for my grandmother. She was a wonder. Have you ever thought of perhaps naming a wonder for your mother? Have you ever thought of perhaps naming a wonder for yourself. Wonder, 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 wonder. Would you like to do something a little bit wondrous today? I think I might eat something that really makes me wonder, 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 that really makes me wonder, yes, today. How did you think it would go down when you ate that thing nice and smoothly? It really squirmed as it went down. Somehow your wondrous throat just 
opened somehow the creature it would sing it sang a song as you ate it it was truly wondrous to behold it sang such a song as you ate it it was very wonderful it was very wonderful when i eat crunchy things bleating things begging things when i eat crunchy things i pause to wonder about them i pause to wonder if they have kin I pause to wonder about them. I think we are all mostly the same, and so when I crunch and munch and eat things meat nice and sweet, it's like I eat a part of me it's so delicious you must try it it's so delicious come and see these creatures they are not too slimy these creatures are just like me they are really delicious they are really super yummy i think they are nutritious and i like to gobble them all all down and i like to gobble them all all down they are just like me you know they have hearts and feelings so they are just like me you know they have feelings and they love they love each other they love each other sometimes i've seen them have pets they love each other they love each other sometimes i've seen them place bets i think they are just like you and me watch as i dunk this one in gravy i think they are just like you and me watch as i french fry his crown they are so good and yummy i just can't stop the eating they are so good and yummy but they are just like you and me they are just like me i don't always eat meat sometimes i eat the trees i don't always eat meat but sometimes i hunt for seeds they're babies yes babies that's what i think of trees they're babies delicious babies as i harvest their seeds do the trees weep for their young do they weep that i gobble them down do the trees weep for the young they're so delicious they i will never frown 
They are like babies, babies, ground into so many things. They are like babies, babies, these seeds they are, just the thing. These seeds they are in everything. They are so delicious, yes you must see. They are real yummy for my tummy. They are so yummy for my tummy. But they are like babies. They are the babies of the trees. But they are just like babies. Just like babies, they're so yummy. I feed my babies baby trees. I feed my babies baby trees. They are so yummy, yummy. They go down so delicious. They are so yummy, yummy. Even a baby knows that baby trees are delicious. Even a baby knows that baby trees are nutritious. They are so yummy. And when I finish eating everything, I'll move on to the rest of things. When I finish eating everything, I'll move on to the TV. I will find a way, a way, a way to eat most everything. I will find a way, a way, and trust me, it will be obscene. I will find a way to eat the cardboard. I will find a way to eat that door your home it will be so delicious i will eat the window and your floor i want to eat most everything i won't be vegetarian i won't be carnivore i will skip all the living things with the help of some microbes some unique intestinal delights and it'll be so delightful i will eat most everything i will eat most everything i could eat a lamp and some glass I could eat the trees, but only the dead ones, of course. I would not eat a living tree, but I could eat some plastic, some nasty plastic from the ground. I could go around in the park and eat all of the trash around. Then it would be oh so lovely. Then everyone would love me. I would just be eating most everything and they would all adore me. I would just eat most everything and they would all adore me. If I were adored, perhaps 
I could be a door. If I were a door, I could open to some special place. If I were a door, I would be a door to a door. If I were a door, I could be open. If I were a door, what would I open into? What would you find when I was opened? What would you find as they opened my lock and flung open me? What would, what would they see? Would it be a room with the view, or would it be a crypt? What kind of door would I be if I were truly adored? Would I be blue beard special key with a special door? That special door and that special key open to such a place. They open to a horrible sight that people wanted to look away. But what would I open to? That's what I want to know. What kind of thing would they see? What kind of new thing would they know? Would they want to wash their eyes out? Would they want to see everything? What kind of thing would they see? What they opened me? I think I might be a door, a truly a door, door. I think I might be a door and be truly, truly adored. And when they open up me, I think I know what they'll see. When they open up me, they'll see a reflection of me. My reflection shines in the mirror. My reflection glows from my face. My reflection, my reflection, I carry it most every place. Old-fashioned cameras needed to reflect fancier cameras that's something they could neglect they don't need to use reflection they can use slightly other things there's no mirror in that lens at least none that you or I can see. So I think I'll tell a story. So I could say so many things. But without a reflection, could I say anything you believe? Because if I have no reflection, Perhaps you won't believe what I say if I have no reflection. Can I impact the world? What can I do if I can't even impact light? What will I do? 
when I just disappear so out of sight? What can I do? What can I say? I need some kind of reflection, something to let you hear what I say. I need some kind of Implica amplification, something to let me be here, something to let me be here, and not just barely a glimmer on your screen. I am glimmering, glowing, glimmering darkly. What do you see when you look at me? I am glimmering, glowering, glowering darkly. What do you see? Do I look mean? Sometimes I feel really mean. Sometimes I frown and it can be obscene. But I do these things sometimes only, not all the time. I do these things, but I try to be holy, but maybe not that way. But maybe not like that. So these things are many. So these things are vulgar too. So these things are many. Many things, that's what I tell you. Many things, that's what I tell you. But I think I will try to be just slightly better. I'll try, try, try to ever so slightly improve. So perhaps I won't be so dark when I glower all over the house. Perhaps I won't be so dark when I'm stomping through the neighborhood when I devour my small enemies and stomp their homes into the ground. I won't glower so viciously. I will try to smile as I smite them down. So I'll be a jolly giant, just smiling while I smash. I'll be a jolly giant. And you should please, please, just step on past, yes, please, please, step on past. Onions are sometimes grown in strange places like giant ears or at least behind them. Onions can also grow in other places, yes. Where was the last time you found them on a dress? They can grow on dresses, yes, but 
Only if dresses are in the ground, they can grow on dresses. Yes, but you would need to be a few feet down. That's not the place that you should be. You don't have a strange dirt hobby. So do not put your dress in the garden. Not today. You could do something perhaps store it in the hay and then when you're feeling like wearing it pull it out it would still be lovely if it didn't meet that mouse but you stored it in the hay and that's where it was the mouse found it and made a house and the house was just a bigger mouse the house was a bigger mouse made from that dress stored in that hay and that's why i say that's why i say we should burn the barn, yes, yesterday. We should set a fire to the barn, oh yes. Burn it down and be done with it. It's not for the insurance, that's not why I burned the barn. It's not for the insurance, that barn only had enough, enough to pay the bills. Enough to pay the bills that we made from the fire people. But I think you might want to see the books are over there. I know you don't believe me, but it still happened. I kept the books out of the fire, I swear. Please check my books you can check them we didn't lose much when when we lost the barn it only held really old stuff it was kind of stinky and needed to be torn down it needed to be torn down torn down and when the barn is turned down, when the barn is no more, I think you might find it needed to be burned. That barn, that barn, it had evil in it. That barn, that barn, it had evil in the walls. It creeped out when I cleaned the hall. That barn, that barn, it needed to be burned. That barn, that barn, it was the only way. 
So enjoy the fire. I hope you brought marshmallows. So enjoy the fire. It won't be the only show. There's evil burning away in the smoke today. I'm the one that stored my evil in the barn over there. It started when I collected a really evil hair. I started collecting very evil things. They would sometimes squirm and squish appropriately. Those evil, evil things were sometimes slimy, and sometimes they looked bone dry and clean. Sometimes they looked almost just like me. They kept growing bigger. They kept expanding. I kept finding new evil things. And if you find some more lovely things and then the evil creeps in, you could find that something quite nice becomes yes evil like sin but what will you do because your father gave you that you store it in the barn where the rest of the evils at you store it in the barn where the rest of the evils at have you found another mostly evil thing perhaps you could look under that aluminum thing that thing it looks a little odd i'm sure it's not truly evil but if evil got in it, then that's what it would be. So let's just burn it. Yes, burn it for posterity. Just to be safe and know that the evil cannot glee, glee, scream as it's burning good and crispy and the fiery fiery things if you're confronted with someone who thinks that the world is black and white. If you're confronted with someone who thinks that objects can be evil, what do you do? What do you say? How can you make them go away? What do you do? What do you say when you just want to go on your way? I think I might like to move along, move on past this shady town. I think I might like to move along, spread my wings and go nice and out. But I wonder, I wonder, how I could do better. I wonder, yes, wonder, 
what I should do next. When people they have black and white thinking, they do believe some strange, strange things. When people have black and white thinking, I don't know what to say. So I go away, away, away. I go away, away. When they think like that, I don't know what to say. So I just, I just go away. I do not know what they think of me if they saw just how I did my thinking. There is no black or white in there. There is no black or white. But I don't know how they do that. Do that. How do they think such silly things? How can they do that? Do that. It is so absurd to me. It is so absurd to me. So I move on to another town. Sometimes I want to settle down, but there's people here as well. Yes, there's people in that well. What will I do? How did they get in there? What will I say if they clamber out? When they do so, what will I say? What will I say? Will they draw me in while I'm screaming? Will they take me apart? Is it because black and white thinking? Do I somehow serve their part? What will I do? The offerings to the elder gods, the elder gods, the elder gods, the offerings to the elder gods, they were paused, they were paused, but they have summerly been resumed. The elder gods, they like their sacrifice, they like their stuff, they like their blood. The elder gods, they like your soul, they'll eat it until they're through. But we're here, we are here, to take just a part of you. We don't want your whole body now we'll take just a little until we're through we just need a smaller part just a smaller part as well and i think it will not miss you much i think it won't miss you when you're well i think it won't really miss you much but we need to throw it in a well it's a deep deep well a really deep well and it might truly go straight to hell but we throw the pieces in there and the belch is smoky and fiery and we throw more pieces into there and slowly it grow grow grows and yes slowly it grows if you think you might find something creeping something that you can't really see it might be something that we accidentally started it might be something we can't see but it's crawling in the shadows and it's slowly eating up yes it's crawling in the shadows pulling people in and other stuff it creeps around where we never see perhaps between places we can't go it's really strange i know really strange i know no no and what is that thing flying i don't see another wing but that thing there is flying and is really quite obscene it is so so obscene
if your town dies, if your town die, die, dies, do you stay to usher it out? Do you scream and shout? Do you somehow try to out with the evil that's in there? Try to defeat the thing. What will you do then? What will you do? Will you escape the city as the creature rolls through the countryside? Will you escape the city knowing that as you do so hundreds will die? What will you do when your town dies? Will you try to escape or hide? What will you do when your town dies? How will you escape? with your life will you somehow try to stop it will it drive you from your mind will you somehow manage to delay it will it wait another year will it wait five or ten will you be able to somehow stop it my friend but you know that eventually it will roll through the countryside and everyone will be then dead and it will be because you obliged you stepped aside knowing then it would destroy everything but that's only if you try to leave. That's only if you try to go. That's only if you try to leave. That's only if you tried and you know that there's no way to stop it unless you work from within. You must partake of the blood sacrifice to somehow win. And yes, someone must die, and it might even be you. But if you can somehow derail it, it will eventually be through. You could somehow save us all. You could somehow be the savior of them all, but only from within.